hi welcome back to my channel um, I have uh, another unboxing and I don't know what's in it so come and discover what it is that I've ordered the shipping number came to me um, but it didn't correlate with anything that I'd ordered so I'm not entirely sure what I've got in here. I track everything. This is really heavy. It says it's 0.3 of a kilo. There's no way it's 0.3 of a kilo. Okay. We have a boat. We have drills. Oh, this is from my cella. That's everything. All right. This is a long one. This is my Machella Abstract Angel. This is 35 by 105. I will post a picture um, of my angel. I have no idea how many colors are going to be in this beauty. Um, yeah. Right, 105. I'm not sure how I'm going to even be able to unravel all of this either. I do have a box I can store this in. The canvas is looking pretty perfect. I think this is my first time ordering from my channel. I'm not going to unravel all of this. That is absolutely stunning. There does not appear to be rivers. The canvas is just smooth as anything and the colours are just incredible. The symbols are unreal. And it's all patchy in its abstract colouring. nice big air bubble in my cover. Let us see. It just keeps going and going and going. It's nice and narrow. I roll up my canvases when I do um, my artwork anyway. Um, here's my inventory. The symbols are all sorts of symbols. Here's the top of it. I love these covers. This will probably go into a doorway kind of frame, just due to its height. The sticky actually goes up quite a way off this. So the sticky goes up to right about there. They don't give you much extra. 35 by 105 is spot on for the host area. This is the top of her head. That's going to be really fun to work on and then have a big reveal at the end. Which is the beauty of working with rolled up canvases. Alright, I will trust that everything is okay with that because it's such good work. Alright, crackle alert here. Yeah, if I can find a way in. Huge bag. But look at those gorgeous colours. There are 46 colours in this. For a second I had smelly diamonds. Well, I'm just having a quick look at this and there isn't a whole heap of any particular colour. 3756 has nearly 8,000 but that's about it. Um, for large quantities. 
Alright. Uh, let's get on with an inventory. I will speed up the video for this next bit. Alright, here's a tip that I'll sort of pass on. I count these in pairs, so I just body them up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 6, 28, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40. 5, 6, 40. Okay. Uh, for some reason, 3847s have been included and I don't know why but what I wanted to show you okay they need to be triaged what I wanted to show you was my cello use different colours of foil on their numbers some of the numbers didn't print out terribly well so if you can see here you've got blue contrasting you've got a kind of aqua green and then you've got a red um, contrasting the colours so you can see the colours super clearly against each of the bags I think that is fantastic um, yeah free diamonds 3847 is not in the chart unless of course I find that there was actually 47 and it ran out before it printed a 47th number I will double check the chart on that one and these have a hole and I need to do some work on finding that and patch it up because I've lost two here and I've probably lost one or two in there. Alright, everything is there. Um, oh, I'm going blind. Right, four, eight, three. And you probably spotted it miles back. And three, eight, five, two. I had an issue with three, seven, five, two. I think that's where I was mixing it up. Okay, 48 colours. And they're all here goodness me. Um, yeah, a uh, perfect kit from Marcella. Uh, delivery was very quick, um, under the two week mark. Let me take a look. ordered on the 6th and arrived on the 18th um, so yeah what is that 12 days um, yeah uh, another good store for Australia buyers I'm really pleased with that and um, yeah I'll put some details in the description and the link and um, yeah I'll have lots and lots of fun doing that for a present 
Hi, this is just a quick update. Remember how I said the sticky was going out well beyond the end? Well, what I've done is cut it with my knife and peeled it back with my tweezers and I'm just peeling the excess off because I don't want to put washi tape over the um, information and block it off. So there's the sticky contact. And um, yeah, so it was reasonably easy just running the knife along the edge quite carefully. And then I'll just lay that back down again. The top I know won't um, stick, but it will mean that I don't have to put washi tape on that. The border otherwise is tiny on this, so it's going to be nice and snug. So just thought I would um, let you know what you can do with um, massive overlap of sticky if you don't want to have it there or don't want to put washi tape on it for whatever reason. Okay. Bye.